Hi. From this tutorial we share 5 methods to solve no response from the remote server problem. We do not waste your time so let get started. From this video, you see I have an ONU, which means optical network unit. It is very important device for your Wi-Fi network connection. Some of the router the ONU device is injected with router. So it is not important that you have separated router or ONU. You see my ONU has some of the basic function power button, PON light, loss light and WAN light. You must be careful about this facts because every problem caused by this functions. I just tell you some unique things that must be helpful present and future. When we discontented power option you can see there is no light in power light section. So power light is the main part of your Wi-Fi network connection. If you have separate router and ONU, you must be check the power connection of your ONU. I think you know that when router connection is okay, if you have any problem happen with your ONU. You can see that your device is connected but no internet use. For this reason I tell that you should very much careful about your power connection. You can check your charger or reconnect charger if you see your ONU has no light. It can be R caused no response from the remote server problem. Now, we tell another important problem that also caused by your ONU. In my video, I hope you see two light one is pawn light and anther is loss light. Loss light is red it means there is problem. When this light is going on you cannot use Wi-Fi. It caused no reasons from the remote server problem. Why loss connection has happened? It has two reasons. You must be know the Ethernet cable or ONU cable. ONU cable very tiny and soft. Yeah, it is very much weak so that it can broken or damage any time. And when it happened you can't do anything but change the Ethernet cable or ONU cables. But it is not your jobs. In my video you see I cannot connect the Ethernet cable with my ONU port or one port. This is the reason my ONU is given the loss connection red light. But my ONU cable is okay, so when we reconnect the cable with ONU port, loose connection goes away. Loss and pawn light is stand opposite sight. When loss connection is happened the pawn light cannot see on. When everything is okay, you can see pawn light is going on. One thing I hope you understand that when internet cable has any problem or not connected properly, it give the message that your connection has no connection with your IPS main server connection. Then you see the message error, no response from the remote server problem. Please contract your ISP. From this video, you see that one light is not going on. I hope you give a clear idea about the topic. From this part, we learn that we should connect our Ethernet cable properly with ONU1 port or ONU port. Sometimes, no response from the remote server problem happened for not connecting WAN port with Ethernet cable or ONU cable. The thread problem, you see that that WAN lights is not going on my ONU. And yeah, I am not connected WAN cable to the ONU port. If there is any dysfunction occur in your WAN cable or WAN port you directly not the massage no response from the remote server problem. But it is important. When I connect the the ON LAN port to WAN cable properly it gives green light in ONU WAN connection section. So my advice is to you check your WAN cable or reconnect the WAN cable if you see there is no LAN light is going on. Now, summary this methods. Firstly you must check ONU charger is ok or not. The power light is going on or not. Secondly, you check your ONU light is ok or not. Usually, all of ONU has 4 light power, pawn, loss and LAN connection. Loss light is not necessary, but it is important to identify no response remote server problem. When loss light is going on, you see pawn light is off. In this time you need reconnect your Ethernet cable to ONU LAN port properly. Another thing can do but you cannot do it without help of your ISP. That is changing ONU cable. Thirdly, 
you should check your one cable is okay or not. If you see your one light is going on, you do not do anything. But if you see your one light is off, you must be unplug into the plug to the LAN port properly. After doing this if you see your WAN light is not going on, then you change the LAN WAN cable. It is not so high price. Remind, you change your LAN cable when the power light and PON light is properly move on. No response problem is very common and simple problem. We must be know what is the no response from the remote server problem is so that we can solve it. We all know that we have some Wi-Fi related device like router, Ethernet cable and sometime ONU. Most of the time hardware problem can be solved because of it's broken or damaged. In this case you should change it. But something this hardware problem can be easily solved and it can do you without anyone help. We should remind that we are not engineers so we cannot solve every problem. We just do some basic thing. Which I mention above you can try it. Now I tell you software problem that cause no response from the remote server problem. In every Wi-Fi router has a router IP address and it is common 192.168.0.1. If don't match you can find your IP in your router. Okay. We should go into the topic. I create a software problem complete see you that this setting can create no response problem. When log in your Wi-Fi IP you can see you can access your internet or if any problem found it see no response from the remote server problem. Please contract your ISP. Above of Wi-Fi IP window right side you can found three icon. When you click it you can find some setting. In this setting option we can see internet setting or Wi-Fi setting. It is very much important for you that internet setting or Wi-Fi setting is the main part to connect to your ISP. If this topic has any simple problem you cannot access internet. Okay. You can see here connection type. When you click it we find some option is it PPPO. And the PPPO Russia yeah there some other option also. For making video if I selected PPPO Russia but my connection is PPPO. This problem create. So when you set up your router you must be know what is your connection type. As I selected PPPO Russia you see I faced no response problem trap. So, just go my setting and do some thing again now deselect PPPO Russia and selected PPPO and save. It needs some time to reboarding and then solve my problem. Okay. I hope you can solve your problem. And the other software problem is occur from this internet setting section. In this section, under the connection type you must be find username and password. Yeah, it is not your usual password. It is given by your ISP when you connect his, her Wi-Fi connection. Basically, in the username this problem happened. Sometime when we need restart our router, then the problem happened. Basically your Wi-Fi username contain of letter and number or symbol. Sometime it happened that some user cannot write their username after rebooting their router. They give space or capitalize first world that is not correct. In this time no response from the remote server problem happened. So be serious about writing your username. From this video. I hope we learn something that is enough as a common Wi-Fi user. I share with you more and more content as I work with this. So subscribe my small YouTube channel for latest update.